At night, we heard the first gunshot. My father said we should all run. My siblings and I began to run for our lives. The next day, we went back home. Everywhere was silent. When we approached our house, I could see three bodies on the ground. I recognized my father by his clothing. I dropped to my knees by his side and prayed. I ran into the house to see if my grandmother was still alive. She was crying bitterly. They asked him if he was a Muslim or a Christian. They killed him when he replied Christian, she said. A few weeks after the attack, Boko Haram sent a list to our village, a list of people they are coming to kill. My family and I had to flee our home. Life hasn't been easy for us. After the attack, I was filled with anger and hatred, angry at God, and I had decided to avenge my father's death. Before coming here, I had decided to never forgive. It was all I could think about. But now, I have found peace, encouragement, and hope. I have learned to forgive and to leave everything at the feet of Jesus. And if I am to die like my father, so be it.